Hello, everybody. Let's have a chat about uh, the future and the different ways to express the future. We are working on page uh, 54 in uh, our book. It is 5B. So in our text that we have just read in exercise two, uh, we saw one specific example. For example, I will call a taxi or I will move my back. This is one of the possible ways to describe the future. For example, I will call a taxi. Can anybody here tell me how to create a negative from this? How do I make a negative zapor? Does anybody know? From the same sentence here. I won't. Yes, I can say I won't call a taxi. Uh, be careful. We have different pronunciation of this. I want to, for example, call a taxi or I won't call the taxi. Uh, let me show you the difference in uh, pronunciation. We have this want, okay, want. And this one here is won't, won't. There's, uh, it's, um, it's called a diphthong, dvohláska, okay, won't. So it will look very similar, but be careful not to mistake it. So uh, let me find it in specifics here. Oh, it's not here, okay. So, but basically it's won't uh, here, this one won't so be careful when it comes to pronunciation because native speakers are very sensitive to such sounds and if you say i won't instead of won't then they might actually misunderstand you that's not what we want okay that's not what we want <laughs> there we go so how do i make a question from this maybe honza can you tell us how can i make a question uh do van no. Oh, no, 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 from, from the future here, huh? <clears throat> mm, will you call me taxi? Uh-huh, will you call a taxi? Well done. And uh, the answer would be, Hunza, how, what's the short answer for this? Yes. Yes, I will. I will, well done. So uh, now we see the form, okay? But my question is, what are the different contexts? So here, context. What are the different contexts for uh, using will? So for example here, I will call a taxi. Can anybody explain this context to me? We have it right here. Uh, it's okay, I will call a taxi. So uh, I will lend you my umbrella, right? So uh, can you explain the, the kind of situation I use it in, anybody? No, nobody knows? So if I decide right now, if I, so that's the first uh, context, I decide right now, then I use will, okay? So I, we, can, uh, you, you, we can say that it's spontaneous decision. Spontaneous decision. Do we see any different, uh, any different context for will? So for example, here. Uh, thanks, I will give it back later. So I will lend you my umbrella, right? There isn't I from here, take it, take the umbrella. And then he says, uh, or she, uh, thanks, I will give it back later. It is not a spontaneous decision. What is it then? Anybody knows? Like a promise? Promise, yeah, we have it right here, right? At the top, promise. So promise is also the the second context for will, okay? So number one, spontaneous decision. Number two, promise. Is there any other context? Do we know any other context? What about this? What about the offer? Nabitka, použiju will or going to? Hmm? What do you think? Nobody knows? Okay, so I'll tell you. Yes, it is for offers. So for example, I will drive you there, All right? This is the example here. So you will offer something and they will say yes or no. Yeah? Then uh, we have a plan, but, or maybe let me put it like this. It's more like a prediction now. Yeah. But there are two kinds of predictions you can make. Uh, one of them is with will, okay? So uh, if I say, for example, tomorrow, uh, it will rain. 
Now, how sure am I that um, it will rain? Am I very sure about this? Is it my idea or does it come from something else? From maybe a weather forecast? What do you think? Maybe let me ask uh, Lukáš. If I say it will rain tomorrow, is it just my opinion or is it something that comes from TV that I well, say? It could be both, but I think you're making a prediction based off of like the weather forecast, I think. Oh no, that would be going through actually. That would be going through. So it would be right like this. Personal prediction. Also That means it's my opinion, nothing else. Okay. Then, uh, however, I have going to, and this is where uh, it will be a big difference. You will see soon. Uh, and those are the contexts for will. Okay. We have spontaneous decision. We have promise, slip. We have offer, nabitku. We have personal prediction. Maybe it will be true, maybe not. All right. But I'm basing this on my prediction that I'm making myself. And uh, it is not 100% uh, certain, let's say. Yeah? Now let's have a look at the second part. We have going to. We have only a few examples here. I'm, uh, let me clean it first here. I'm going to. Uh, leave soon anyway. Wait, wait, let me do it again. It wasn't nice. No, I'm going to leave soon anyway. And here it's going to rain. I saw it somewhere. Where was it? Uh, here, I'm going to get wet. Look at that rain. I'm going to get wet. So at first, let's have a look at the form. Going to, and for example, uh, I'm going to get wet. All right. Can you create a negative out of this? Uh, maybe Tomáš, can you tell me, how do I create negative zápor? Um, Which one? Uh, from, uh, um, yeah, sorry, Tomáš R, yeah. Um, I would say something like, I'm, I'm not get, going to get wet. Yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it, well done. I'm not going to get wet. Now, I'm sure that many of you know a very, like, slang, version of going to. What is the slang version of this very informal way to say it that you would tell your friend maybe or you will hear it on TV in, in movies? I'm gonna. Gonna, that's it. Now uh, you can also write it like this. I'm gonna get wet. This is very informal. Please avoid it if you write it, okay? You can write gonna only if you send a message on chat or, or when you play games online, that's okay. But uh, don't write it in, um, in any formal writing. Yeah, please avoid it, yeah? So here I will just write very informal. But it is correct, yeah? Now, um, how do I make a question? So the, the second Tomáš, please, can you tell us? How do you create a question from this? Uh, are you going to? Are you going to get wet, right, for example? And what's the answer? Yes. Yes, I am. Go yes, on. I am. Well done. Or no, I'm not. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So now let's again talk about the context for this. We know the form. Let's talk about the context. So if I say uh, I'm going to get wet, then again, uh, it's slightly different context, I think, no? It's not like will. Oh, sorry, let me do it like this. So um, when we see the situation here, uh, oh no, look at that rain, I'm going to get wet. What kind of context is this from prediction, plan, offer, promise? Uh, maybe Yuzi, can you tell us? Prediction. Prediction. How is this prediction different from the prediction with will? Because it's raining already. Mm, okay, yeah, you're very close. Yeah, prediction. Uh, so you can see it's raining, yeah? That's the, that's the important part. You can see, hear, or smell, or, or you are basing your prediction on something you can see, or, or it is very obvious, right? So prediction based on something external. External means it is outside you, right? It is outside you and you can see it. For example, look at that rain. I'm going to get wet, okay? Do we have uh, the second one here? Um, here, it's okay. I'm going to leave soon anyway. Uh, Jakub, maybe Jakub, can you tell me? 
what do you think is the context for this one? Um, I'm going to leave soon anyway. I guess it's a plan. A plan, well done. Let's see. So uh, a plan. Let me write it here too. Plan. And uh, the plan can also be set for this one, right? Spontaneous decision or plan. That for, that's for will. But if it's a plan or intention, can anybody translate intention for me? Intention. Umysl. Uh, ano, přesně tak. Uh, umysl. A nebo záměr, ještě můžeme přeložit. OK, so that means you have thought about it already. You're planning to do something already. And then you will say, I'm going to leave soon anyway. So that means you don't have to stay here to, to have a chat because I'm going to leave anyway. OK, good. Um, I think that's about it. Yeah, that's, uh, these are the most important contexts for, for these ideas. And now, this is not in the book, but I'm sure you know it because you're smart. So tell me, uh, are there any different ways to describe the future? Do you know any other way? At least one, you should know one, I think, or maybe two, two more, you should know. About two? You... Come again? About two? Well done, okay. Uh, so here, be about to do something. Can you explain a little bit for us, please, Lukash? For example, I'm about to begin the lesson. Can you explain it? Uh, it's like that before like doing something, or uh, I don't know how to explain. So you know that you at first you have a plan, right? A plan. And I, uh, a, a, the future that is going to happen very soon. Right, and the future that is going to happen uh, very soon. Right, to znamená, chystám se něco dělat. I'm about to. Pra právě plánuji skončit nebo začít hodinu. Právě plánuji začít hodinu. Okay, I'm about to begin the lesson. Uh, yes, very useful. I, I haven't thought of that, but it's definitely true. Uh, do we have any other example? It's quite interesting that in English they use uh, present tenses to describe uh, the future. Užíváme přítomné časy na vyjádření budoucnosti v angličtině. So we have present simple and we have uh, present continuous. As strange as it sounds, it is used for the future. That's why there are really no future tenses. So uh, how can we use, for example, the train leaves at six o'clock, all right? What kind of future is this? What is the context for this one? The train leaves at six o'clock. Hmm? What kind of, how would we describe this context? Uh, we don't know? Okay, exactly meant that Chasovy Osberg, Chasovy Osberg, the auto one. Anybody knows? Chasovy Osberg, time, timetable, yeah? Timetable. There we go. So when we talk about timetables, something that repeats every day or every week, then we use present simple. The train leaves at six o'clock. Our lesson, our lesson starts at 7.30 a.m., for example. All right. So it is something in general that happens, but at the same time, uh, you are when you say it, it means it's in the future. So it is used a lot for, uh, like this. And now present continuous. Let me give you one example. I'm having a party tomorrow, or I I will, or sorry, um, I am leaving tonight, okay? And I'm still describing the future. Can you tell me how, how this is possible? What's the context for this one? Anybody can try, please try it. How is this different from going to, sorry, yeah, Lukash, can you try? Maybe like pre-planned events or something? Excellent, you're, you're there, yeah. So uh, I describe it in different words, but uh, it's the same idea. So I call it a diary future. This is what helps me uh, when studying this. That's what helped me when I was a student, diary future. Imagine you have a diary, denk, right? And you open it and you say, okay, tomorrow uh, I'm doing this, 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 right? I'm seeing my dentist, uh, I'm going to school, I'm doing this, this, this. So if you have already a, uh, a plan set, 
for a specific day or a specific time, then you should use present continuous. For example, I'm having a party tomorrow. People know it. Everybody got invitations. They know where to go. They know when to come. Okay. I'm leaving tonight. Again, it's my plan. I have my tickets. Uh, my, my baggage is uh, packed and I'm ready to go. Okay. So if I only use going to, then it's just an intention. Je to jenom záměr, umysl. Ale není to ještě naplánované. There's no plan yet. I have no ticket. My baggage is not uh, packed yet. If, I, if it's already set and I know, okay, at six o'clock I'm leaving, then I should use uh, present continuous. Okay? There are a few more, but uh, in the first years for you, this is just enough. This is all you need to know right now. There will be more coming later, but these are the most important uh, ways to, to describe the future. So we have diary future, a plan that is already planned. I have the tickets, for example, people got the invitation and so on. That would be for our uh, situations that we have here. Are, all right. Are there any questions? Everything okay? I will leave this document on Google Classroom. And now I think uh, we can see how well you remember this uh, using a little competition. I will uh, put you into teams and I would like you to have a little uh, competition together. You will see how. Yeah? All right, so let's try a little quiz where we can practice this grammar. Uh, at first, uh, we have to choose between will, going to and present continuous. Let's also think about why we are choosing these. So, did you tell Paul about the party? No, I forgot. Uh, maybe uh, Honza, er, can you tell me what's the, what is the answer here? Uh, I'll call him later. Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, because uh, now I... Uh, I am deciding, right? Yeah, I'm deciding about it. Yeah, so this is a spontaneous decision, huh? Thank you. Let's try this one, Richard. It's hot here, isn't it? Yes. Uh, yes, I will switch on. Mm -hmm. And why? Uh, because now I am this, uh, decided to. Yes, again, this is a spontaneous decision. Well done, thank you. Let's try next, Wojciech. Uh, ding dong, someone's no, at the door. Yes. Uh, I, will go, uh, I will go. Why? It's, it's right now and decision. I'm going yeah. to open the door. For some reason, they, there are three spontaneous decisions in a row. Yeah, I wonder yeah. why. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, let's try the next, uh, Matthias. Can you try? We, a party on Friday night. Would you like to come? Mm, we are having. Can you tell us why? Because they decided like before. Uh, okay. Okay. Is there any better way to describe why? Uh, anybody else can try? You're almost there, Matthias, but I would say a little bit more. Um, anybody knows? I, I told you about the diary, right? Diary future. So you have a diary and you, you have a plan for Friday night. Maybe your plan is to just stay at home. But if I ask you about your plans in your diary, I should ask or say something like, we are having a party, right? Because it's already planned. People got invitations. They know about it. They know where to go and when. So we normally use present continuous to talk about future arrangements. It's already arranged. It's already planned. Let's try this. Five. Uh, we are out of X. Okay. Uh, Honza S. Can you try? Are you there? Honza? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Try. So, okay. Uh... I'll get uh, some. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get some uh, because why? it's a quick decision. Yeah, that's it. Spontaneous decision again. <laughs> there mm -hmm. we go. Six. I heard on the news that day, Honza, er, can you try? I heard on the news that day. Uh, the, uh, they uh, are going to build. Yeah. Why? Uh, because they are planning. They uh, have. Uh, they, they have a plan. About it. Yeah, that's it. It's an intention, right? Or plan. That's it. Uh, well done. Seven. Let's try Matthias. What do you think about this one? When? Your bedroom? It's a terrible mess. Mm, that's 
when are you going to tidy your bedroom? Mm -hmm. That's it. Why? Um, je to můj záměr, right? How do I say that? Záměr. Tam se na něčí záměr. You're asking about what? Inten... Intention. Intention, yeah? Intention. So that's right here. We are asking for someone's intention. There we go. Uh, any plans for the weekend? Uh, let's try Vojtěch. What do you think? Yes? Uh, yes, I'm going to buy. Yeah, that's it. Because it's just your intention, right? Yeah. What, what if uh, it's already your plan? You already bought it, right? And um, you are meeting the people to have the uh, to have the um, process of buying. So you come, you give them money, and uh, they will give you the furniture. Then you could use "I am buying," but it would be a very strange situation for for this. So this is just your plan, right? I'm going to buy. That's it. But technically speaking, this could happen. But it would have to be very special example. Okay, uh, anything on Saturday evening? We thought we might go to the cinema. Richard, can you try? Uh, are you going to do? Mm -mm. Uh, diary future, the hours of right? You have Saturday evening, you have a plan there already. Maybe your plan is to just stay at home, but it's already planned. So, so it cannot be going to do. It's not good enough. So are you doing? Are you doing? Yes. It is normal to use present continuous to talk about people's arrangements in the near future, especially when asking if they are free. I'm asking you if you are free in your schedule, in your diary. Okay. If I'm asking you for this, then I must use uh, are you doing or simply present continuous. All right, let's try the 10th. Uh, Wojciech, can you try? The news is on in five minutes. Uh, will, will you watch it? Mm, I'm deciding now. Yeah. No, it's again the intention. Oh. But it would not be such a problem, I think. If you used it, it would not be a big, a big issue. Will you watch it? If you're deciding now, yes. Uh, but I can, also, I can also take it from the perspective of are you going to watch it? Yeah, okay. So it's not a big problem actually this this year. I wouldn't consider it a big issue, honestly. Do you would be clearly incorrect, but will you uh, I think would be acceptable too. Mm -hmm. Now, are you free tomorrow afternoon? Uh, let's try Honza. Let me check in my diary, right? Diary. So um, um uh, I uh, I will see Di diary, Honza. Hi, diary. diary. Okay. Right? Oh, I'm seeing. I'm seeing, yes. Because it's already planned, right? A client at three. Yes. Yes. I'm free after that. So I already know that, right? It's already agreed. So future arrangement. And the last one, Matthias, can you try 12? Mm. That one is we are going to paint the bedroom. Mm hmm. Yeah, and that will be nice. This is the uh, prediction, personal prediction here, right, of the speaker. But here, this is the intention. So, yes, we are going to paint. Well done. Okay, gentlemen, thank you so much. So, that's all for today. Uh, I hope that now future tenses, there are no tenses in the futures, but let's say future expressions are now easier for you to understand. And if you have any problems, just uh, send me an email and I will help you out. Okay?